Hi there, it's Rich with Richbound Photography, Sacramento, California. And I'm going to do a tutorial today on a subject that has been coming up, just seems like it's coming up more lately. So I think people are getting into what I'm putting out there in using an ambient shot like this and using a flash shot like this. And we want to use, I want to use, and because there's two ways of doing it. You can use the ambient shot as the base layer when you're masking in, or you can use the flash as the base layer. I choose to use the flash shot. Um, but I want to now take my ambient shot and mask in the parts that I like here. But as you see, there is a real big color cast there. There is, it's just not a great looking shot. A uh, lot of this orange, a lot of colors, a lot of things. So we want to make our ambient shot closer to what we need here. And the whole theory to what I put out there really basically is you just want to get your flash shot as you're shooting. You want to get the best flash shot you can in camera. Then you want to get the best ambient shot. But you want to realize as you're shooting, what am I going to want to do with this ambient shot? And let's say here what I'd want to do is this is kind of a flashy looking shot. Now, I could probably deliver this no problem. Uh, my agents would probably like this, fine, because what I'm doing to fix it is very subtle. But uh, for me, it's not what I would deliver. Now, the, the lighting is coming from the camera. We have no shadows here. We have a little bit of a reflection, flash reflection here in the, in the glass. We have, uh, it's just not great. Uh, we do, though, have a great looking uh, color in this room. So it's pretty darn close, but I can make it better. Now, let me tell you what I did ambient wise. I'm just taking a medium. This is right out of camera again. I'm going to go into develop module and see. This is Lightroom, by the way. And I am at one, I'm at ISO 320 at f7.1 with my Sony a6000 and my Sam Yang 12 millimeter f2.0 lens. I think it's a great combination for day to day real estate. And this is even a nice house. So I still shoot nice houses with my Sony and don't need to go to my Nikon always. Although I sure like my Nikon with the tilt shift lenses. But I have an adapter here, so I could use either camera anyway. I am doing one quarter of a second. So I think that this is a good ambient shot. I just need to get it a little closer looking to this flash shot. Now this flash shot is also 320 ISO uh, F7.1 and you don't see the information up here because it's uh, a uh, the Sam Yang, Lang does, Sam Yang manual does not transfer uh, the aperture information. But it is at 1 20th of a second. So. I have sped up the shutter speed here and used flash and it's overpowered all the bad parts. You look at the lights here, like here. I don't like all this orange. The flash took care of that, but that's why I love the flash. But I still want to use a little bit of ambient. So I'm going to go back to my ambient and the first thing I'm going to do to try and make this ambient shot more usable in my masking, I'm going to take my white balance eyedropper tool here in, photo, in Lightroom and I'm just going to go here for the overall. I'm just going to put it on something white. I could do something gray down here, but I'm just going to try white here. Let's see how that is. Okay, I didn't, I'm not crazy about that, so let's try now. Let's get a gray spot down here. Nope, I don't like that. Now let's try the white in back here. And actually, I like this pretty much, although you're saying, whoa, crazy blue. But what happens sometimes when you get a good white balance, it's going to bring out in an ambient shot, going to bring out the blue. So I'm just down here, scrolling down to my, um, here it is, to my uh, colors. And I'm going to take my saturation slider and I'm going to take out, oops, take out the blue right here. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to add in a little bit of that red they took out Yeah, right about there. And I'm going to now take out the yellow. We'll look over here in this room. I'm going to try taking out yellow. Generally, I find the yellow, losing the yellow helps the most. And I'm going to bring down the orange a little bit. So I'm going to raise up the exposure a little bit, just a little bit. 
I'm going to now lower the highlights. There we go. So I'm going to look at between this shot. Now it doesn't look like a great shot, but it's okay because we're only using certain parts here. I'm going to flash between. I'm going to highlight both images and I'm going to switch between my ambient shot and the flash shot. And I actually think that I've got a nice gray here. And again, let's go, um, if we were to compare it, the original shot here, I just hit YY. There we go. And I think I've got a better opportunity to use uh, the ambient shot here. So let's just now right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. And someone posted today that they right click and it's not giving the option when they go into edit in Photoshop. It doesn't give the open as layers in Photoshop is grayed out. What I think is happening that if you don't have both images highlighted, you go here and you go edit in, it, you don't have the option because again, oops, wrong way, uh, because both are not highlighted. So let's go here again, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. There we go. Take a couple of seconds out. Say, hey, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. We're doing real estate, luxury real estate workshops. You can find videos on my uh, YouTube channel regarding the workshops. Our first one in September is sold out. October has one space open as of today, which is uh, August uh, 14th. So we're going to be selling out the October workshop. And if you want any information on it, you can find the video or you can also look up just uh, email richbaum at rich at richbaum.com. Anyway, okay, so here we have the ambient shot on top, which I want, and I'm highlighting that. Now, one thing I'm going to do, I don't normally do, but I'm going to do it in all my videos from now on. I'm just highlighting both images. And what I want to do is I want to go up into edit and I want to go into auto align layers just to make sure everything's lined up and keep it on auto. Okay, click that OK. Let's see, were these two lined up? These are all lined up. You don't see any kind of a white checkered border around the outside. So I use a very heavy tripod, which really benefits me. Uh, my camera very rarely moves, so I don't need to do auto alignment. It's all about saving time for me, and using a heavy tripod saves time in the long run. So I'm highlighting this, and I'm going down here to make add, an, add a layer mask holding down Option on a Mac, Alt on a PC. Gosh, how many times have I said that? Okay, so I have the flash image coming up. I also want to make sure I'm on white to, to review reveal. So I'm going to hit X, my keyboard X. That's going to switch it. So if you hit X, 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 X. I'm going to go to my paintbrush here, and I'm going to make sure that it is zero hardness. And I'm going to OK that. And I'm going to keep it on 6% flow, which is what I recommend. You don't even never worry about your normal mode here or any modes here. Down here, I'm on normal mode. And I might do sometimes luminosity mode. But right now, because it's fairly similar colors, I'm going to do just normal mode. So I'm going to come here. And the first thing I want to do is just take out that little shine in the glass. But what I'm going to do is just... I'm going to use my polygonal tool here, polygonal. You have lasso tool, magnetic tool, and the polygonal tool. Love the polygonal. I'm just going to do a, a square around the glass. And I don't even, I could probably freehand this, but anyway. So here, let's go into there. I'm on my paintbrush again, and I'm just going to go paint in the ambient here. Now let's go to luminosity mode, see if they, we change the color at all. Look at what, look at the, the frame here as I click luminosity. Okay, clicking luminosity. Actually, I like it better. So let's stay on luminosity. But the only thing is, remember, if we stay on luminosity for this, we got to stay on it for everything. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to normal mode because I think overall in the, the grand scheme of things, it will be better to have normal mode. Okay, hope I didn't confuse you. Now I'm going to hit Command D for deselect. So it deselects my selection there. Whoops, let's go outside of this now. And now let's just start painting in a little bit of, let's start with the couch because that's the main issue where it's looking a little flashy on camera. So I'm just bringing in 
a little ambient here. And what I do is very subtle. Most of you that follow me know that. So some things are more or less subtle than others. And let's go up here. Let's do, uh, you know, I don't like what I just did, so I'm going to hit X and erase that. Okay, now let's go into this back room. Okay, so let's mask in a little bit of the ambient here. Good, there we go. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm on black. Brain fart. Okay, let's go back and mask in a little of the ambient here. I like that. A little ambient here. There we go. Okay. So, very subtle. You can see what I'm doing. It's very subtle. But it's it's nice. Okay, now let's go in here. Let's go and add in a little bit of ambient. And I'm always adjusting the size of my brush by doing the... Um, Oh gosh, what are the keys called? Oh, it's the, they're like parentheses, but they're uh, squares. Anyway, I, I apologize for not knowing that. So let me go in here and mask in a little bit of ambient here. Okay, and I'll be honest with you, this image, there's not too much I'm gonna be doing because it was a pretty good flash image. So let me go in here, okay. And I'm just playing around to see what I like here. I don't like it in this chair, so I'm going to hit X again, erase that. Okay, um, it looks pretty good, so I'm just going to Command SW, and we're going to bring it into Lightroom, and I'm just going to uh, do my final bump on here, which uh, is right here, whoops, down here, final bump. There we go. Little bit of contrast, there we go. Final image, I'm okay with this. Uh, it was pretty good to start with, but I like the couch a little better. So, uh, actually, let's go. Uh, there's the original flash shot, and here's the ambient. Here's the shot we just finished. So, pretty close, but I like it just a little better. Okay, now let's go to the next, uh, next shots. Let's see here. Now, let's make sure that it's right at a camera. So what am I going to do to this shot to make it work better with the ambient? Now, what I'm going to do is the flash, I mean, work better with the flash. The flash has some really nice attributes here, but it's a little flashy, and the mirror reflection is not what I want, and it's also kind of dark back here. I always tell people you can, sometimes you can put a light back here, or you could also just use your ambient exposure like this, and mask in the ambient so you can do what I call letting the ambient do the heavy lifting. But let's go now and I'm going to um, try the white balance tool. And I'm, most of the time I don't need to do this, but I want to show you something you may want to learn to do. So I'm just going to hit a white baseboard down here because we know that the target area is neutral white. A baseboard is yet generally pretty good. And that's actually pretty good. So here it is back and forth. You can see here's the original, and here it's just a little less orange. So I think that did what I wanted. Again, it's not a really great example because it's not so bad at the beginning. Here it's a little blue in my ambient shot, so I'm just going to lose some of the blue. Watch right here. and Take out some blue. I think that should change a little bit. Good. Okay. Now let's take um, the highlights out. And... This looks pretty good. I'm going to drop the exposure a little bit. I'm mainly looking at this exposure because I'm going to mask in this, this doorway. So here we're going to have light in here. Now the other thing too is I'm going to need to add the ceiling from the ambient. So let's look at this. What I want to do now is because the ceiling is a little bit orange for my taste, I'm going to take out a little bit of yellow. And let me take out a little bit of orange. There we go. And let me take my adjustment brush and I'm going to go to exposure. I'm going to bring up the exposure just a little bit. I'm going to bring down the saturation just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is make my paintbrush a little smaller. And this is going to be in Lightroom. So I'm going to bring down the flow a little bit. So I'm just going to basically make my ceiling the way I'd like it. And that bit of warmth right there doesn't bother me. So 
This ambient shot's actually pretty good. I think though I'm going to close out my adjustment brush. I'm going to make this just a little tiny bit warmer. There we go. And it looks good to me. So let's now look one more time. Flash shot ambient shot and the flash shot I'm going to use my full bump let's go there normally now I've been using the full bump on both my ambient and my flash in a preset when I import to make it quicker but for you I'm not going to do that okay so I've adjusted my exposure a little bit now this looks really flashy and oops wrong way and that looks really dull but let's now highlight both images right click edit in Oops, edit in open as layers in Photoshop. Wait a few seconds and remind you to subscribe to the Rich Baum Real Estate Tips and Tricks for Real Estate Photography uh, Facebook page that you're watching right now. And I also have a new uh, announcement. I have a Facebook group that is for my YouTube channel. So you can actually suggest videos. We can uh, discuss things more at length and you can put your comments there on YouTube or in my Facebook channel. So anyway, okay, now let's do this again. I'm going to highlight both of these images. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go auto align layers somehow. And I'm going to pick auto. Somehow I think this is a little bit out of alignment. There we go. Oh, you see it. Okay. Let's look up here and show you. That little checkerboard line shows you it's slightly out of alignment. And when you go to mask in things, um, it is possibly going to be a little bit ghosty. So right now, let's now click on the single ambient image and let's click on add a layer mask option with a option on hold down option on a Mac and alt on a PC. There we go. Now I'm going to go back and make this white. So I'm going to hit X and switch it. My paintbrush I know is on zero hardness, 6% flow. And let's just start with the biggest thing at hand. I just want to get this ceiling better. Okay, not perfect, but it's good enough. I think it's actually great for this. Let's bring in a little bit of ambient here, a little bit of shadow there, a little bit of ambient on the ground. There we go. Now let's zoom in and get the big one. Here we go. I'm just going to make the brush about the size of this doorway. And I'm going to just start painting in. And I'm going a little over on the sides, but that's no problem. And I'm actually going to hit X and erase it a little bit here. Use a little less exposure and I'm going to hit X and paint in a little bit more here. Okay, you can see I've overflowed it a little bit. So what I can do really simply is just go right by the door right here. And let's go here. And let's, that's my polygonal tool again. I'm just going to make it black and erase right here. Oops, paintbrush, black erase right here. Let me go in tighter so you can see. There we go. We just kind of missed up a little bit. There we go. That was pretty fast. We could have done it by hand too. So I'm going to do Command D for deselect. And there you go. You have, um, actually it's a little bit, I don't like it right here either. Okay. So let me just go bring it down a little bit. My black, I'm taking it out. There we go. Bring her up right there. Okay. So we have that doorway pretty well lit. Now I always say you could have used a flash in their doorway and it would look better, but I'm okay with that and it takes a lot less time. Okay, let's go in here and now I'm going to go back to white over here, hit X on my keyboard, and I'm just going to mask in a little bit of ambient here. Okay. There we go. And I want to go in here in my reflection and just bring in a little of that ambient. I like the ambient a little bit better. There we go. I could have literally done this image about, uh, about a minute and a half. So it's not really that long. Let's see here. Is a little ambient going to help there? Nope. 
and I'm going to hit Command Z to go backwards. Doesn't help me at all. So let's look here. And again, this is kind of fast, down, and dirty, but I'm pretty happy with it. Let's look at the flash shot before. Okay. And look at the flash shot now. Look at the doorway back there. Okay. Now look at the table right here. A little bit flashy. Might have put a little bit too much. Let me go back and make X here and just take away a little of that uh, ambient. Kind of like a little bit more flash. There we go. Okay. And I have a nice sh uh, shadow on the wall I think is good. We can erase that if you want to erase that right now. Oops, actually, never mind. It looks like I didn't have the the flashes on the wall anyway. There we go. So never mind. That flash is actually coming up from the bouncing of my light on the ceiling. So let's look at this now. Ambient. Let's just try and maybe get rid of that flash. I'm going to go hit X for painting, white, and I'm getting rid of that flash. So that uh, reflection of the chairs. I don't know if I like that as much. Let me just bring it back a little bit. Okay, good. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to now go Command S W, bring it back into um, Lightroom, and I'm going to hit again the uh, final bump. And if all of you want to look at my final bump, it's just right here. I think I do. I use any dehaze? Nope, no dehaze. So. Final bump is just a little bit of clarity, contrast, um, a little bit of white, a little negative on the black, a little bit of clarity and a little bit of saturation. Just pops it out a little bit. So anyway, don't forget to um, adjust your crop here. And I'm actually going to take out this wall right here because I don't like it. So there we go. Okay, I'm okay with that. Now let's go to the next image real quick. I have an ambient image and I have a flash image and a second flash image. Okay, this flash image is put a light over here and this one is to put, oops, wrong way, this is to put a light over here. So let's, and this is the final image. And what I wanna do is just highlight all three of these images, edit in, and I am just going to edit them real quick. Uh, I'm not even going to really adjust the uh, ambient shot because the ambient shot is actually pretty nice here. So there's the ambient shot. So I don't really need to do much with it. It's a similar color as uh, the flash shot. So let's go into Photoshop. Here we go. There we go. OK, it's coming in. And um, I'm not going to do much with this. It's a little dark outside. Oh, you know what I want to look here? This is the ambient shot. Let's see the flash shot. Let's turn off. This is the, this is the flash left shot. So I'm going to actually bring that to the top. Whoops, bring it to the top up here. Turn it off. Let's look at the ambient shot. Here, the window doesn't... Look at the flash here. Let's turn this off. You can see the reflection in the window, so I want to take care of that in this flash shot. So I'm going to mask in the ambient into the window. So I'm now clicked on the ambient shot, holding down Option New Layer Mask, and what I want, what I want to do is to mask out some of this flashiness right here. Oops, make sure it's white for paint. Right there, I'm masking in the ambient right there. Real simple. Got rid of that issue. And the exposure is pretty good on the ambient shot. So let's go in here. Let's get rid of some of that flash here. OK. Now let's highlight this image. We can see we're going to use parts of here. So let's highlight that. And let's just bring in a little of that flash shot right in there. Bring it in a little there. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm done with that. Whoops. Let's go X here. I'm just going to take out a little of that. I painted in the dark. So let's go uh, Command S 
and then W and bring it back into uh, Lightroom. This wasn't a real good example uh, because the colors weren't that different from the uh, flash to the ambient shot. So here is the final shot with a little final bump on there and bam, come on. Where's the final bump? There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. I got a little bit of funky color in the blue. So let's go down here and change the hue of the blue. Let's see if we can, let's make it a purple. Let's make it look weird. Let's try saturation, a little less saturation. Ah, you know what? I could really do some changes on there, but I'm not going to spend the time. I would ultimately like to get the green this color. It's very dark out here, and it got a blue hue to it. So anyway, let's go with the next shot. Here we have an ambient shot, and let's make the straight out of camera reset. Okay, this is what I would call, now you want to know what I would call a perfect ambient shot for this image is this shot. I'm going to now lose some of the highlights. Okay, watch the window. I lose some highlights. It just brought back a little bit. Not that I'm going to be using that window, but it's kind of nice here. It's giving texture. It's not a great ambient shot as far as if you were just going to use this as it is. But now let's go look at the flash shot. This is a very flashy shot, but it has some really nice attributes. I'm shooting at ISO 400. I am using my 19 millimeter tilt shift f7.1 and I'm at 160th of a second. I have a streak light 360 bouncing straight above my camera, right straight up. And uh, I've got a few issues. I've got a flash shadow from the ceiling fan. Actually, my flash must be camera right because there's the flash shadow right there. A little bit flashy on the window. I mean, on the rocks, it is perfectly exposed for the window. Now, I could have done better and gotten rid of these reflections of the doorway in the room, but you know what? I think it looks fine, especially for real estate. The bed is very one-dimensional. It is lit like you can see the, where the light's coming from. But now we're gonna go back and forth between the flash and the ambient. Flash and ambient. The other thing too in the flash that's great is this exposure on this light. So one thing I wanna do is go Maybe raise the exposure up just a little bit. There we go. And bring up the highlights just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm really happy with both of these. So again, here's the flash. Here's there. We're gonna make this now magic. Edit in, open as layers in Photoshop because I highlighted both of these, both of these images. And while it's coming in, I'll remind you, please subscribe to my channel. Thank God for the time in between putting it in from Lightroom to Photoshop because I get to promo myself. Workshops, guys. I'm doing workshops with Mark Weisberg. You can find it on our YouTube channel. Uh, on my YouTube channel, you can find information on the um, workshops, three-day intensive workshops. September and October are almost sold out. October has one place open. September is sold out. Anyway, now let's. we got it, the ambient on top highlighted, and I'm just going to highlight both. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to Auto Align Layers because I really should do that every time. But I'm just a little lazy. Oh, you can see a little bit of an out of alignment up there. That's really not enough to really do much, but it's good to check your alignment. Okay, now I've got the high, I went back and highlighted just one image, and that's the ambient. And I'm going to make add a new layer mask. I'm going to Lad a new mirror mask. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna now, I'm on black, so I'm gonna hit X to paint. I'm gonna do my brush, 6% flow, and let's just start bringing in a little bit of ambient to here. There we go. Okay, let's go here and let's take out the ceiling fan shadow up here. Now this is a little tricky to do by freehand, but you can do it. You certainly can do it, no problem. I'm making it a little smaller. I may do a little overflow, but I can fix that really easily. And let's go here. You can see it's overflowing ambient. I'm getting ambient on the ceiling fan, which I don't really like, but that's okay because I can now hit X and erase. And just make my brush the size of the ceiling fan and you can do as little or as much as you want. 
but you get the point. You could have actually put it in 100% flow and just come right down here and erase that because 6% is a little slow. Now let's do the other main part of this image. Let's go and do the bed. So I am making this nice and big. Again, we're on 0% hardness and I'm just going to mask in. Oh, I got to make sure it's white over here. Click X. Go here now. Let's mask in a little bit here. A little bit. Okay, and let's go up here and mask in a little bit of ambient here. Let me make my brush a little smaller. A little bit of ambient here. And a little bit of ambient here. Okay, I don't like what it's doing to the TV, but look at the... I'm going to go back one step. Actually, I'm going to go back and erase just right over by the TV. I don't like the TV as much. And I'm going to erase it by this cabinet. But again, I'm going to show you one thing you really like with the ambient shot. There is the shadow facing the wrong way. All I'm going to do is paint in or reveal the ambient here. There we go. Nice soft brush. Just a little bit. There we go. And this may not be your cup of tea, but that's the great thing. You can do as little or as much as you want. And let's look here now. Turn off the ambient layer. You might like it better here or better here. And actually, I'm going to take a little bit. I'm going to go back to black and I'm just going to race just a little bit. Make this bed a little more flashy. There we go. And let's get in here. Now I've revealed that flash shadow again. So I'm just going to try and... Actually, I'm going to try something. No, I'm going to use this. Okay, let's go in here and hit X again. Let's just put in the ambient right there. Okay, there we go. I am pretty happy with that. So I'm going to do... Command SW, bring it back into Lightroom, and I'm going to go into Final Bump. I use Final Bump about 50% of the time. That actually looks pretty nice. Here it is before Final Bump and Final Bump. So I'm pretty happy with that. Got rid of that shadow. Have a little bit of, um, here's the flash shot again. Got rid of the... Um, rid of the bed it looks a little more natural now there we go there's just straight flash and the wall too look at this wall right here it's a little flashy not super much better but it's pretty good i'm pretty happy with it so remember get what you need when you're shooting so you'll be able to work it in with your editing just think about it as one big process and take the brackets you need to make sure that when you get home you have what you need Get the best flash shot you can, the best ambient shot you can, and the pull process will go much faster. Editing gets faster, shooting gets faster, the more you do it and the more you understand the concept. This is Rich with Rich Bound Photography saying thanks for stopping by. Subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Bye.